determination of a melting point is used as an identification tool of a synthesized compound. Pure compounds have a sharp melting point characteristic of that compound. Impurities may cause the melting point to be lowered and the compound may melt gradually over a larger temperature range. To identify the compound, you need to compare the melting points that you have determined to the one found in scientific literature. Take a capillary tube with one sealed end and introduce a small amount of compound to the open end to give approximately 2 to 3 millimetres. Gently tap the tube to move the compound to the sealed end. Turn the melting point apparatus on. Place the capillary in the melting point apparatus and ensure that the sample is visible through the viewfinder. Never put the open end into the apparatus. Now follow the instructions printed on the side of the melting point apparatus. Using set and up or down buttons together on the apparatus, select the plateau temperature which will be given to you in the lab. The plateau temperature must be about 10 to 20 degrees below the actual melting point of your sample. The temperature will be rising very quickly to the plateau temperature you have selected. If your sample had a melting point below the set temperature, the rapid rise would give an accurate melting point determination. For this reason, once the plateau temperature has been reached, the temperature will increase slowly approximately 1 degree per minute, thus allowing an accurate determination of the melting point. Press start and wait until the plateau light is on. When the plateau light comes on, press start button again and the ramping light will come on. As the temperature rises, continuously observe your sample. Record the temperature at which the sample just starts to melt and the temperature at which it has completely melted. The melting point is always quoted as a range. Turn off the apparatus and put the used melting point tube in the hazard disposal container.